the Seeker stands out to me as unique among the other backpacks out there designed to hold GoPro cameras, as it seems to have its origins as a lightweight backpack instead of a large camera bag. This makes it something that you're much more likely to take with you when doing an activity, and GoPro has simply included some nice features for helping you take GoPro cameras on your adventures. Let's get into it and explore some unique features designed to help you carry and get the most of your GoPro cameras. First, there's a padded compartment on the top of the bag designed to hold up to five GoPro cameras. In my use, I've tended to use it to hold a maximum of three GoPro cameras as well as a three axis gimbal. On the flap that you fold open to get access to this compartment, there's two small pockets you can use to store things like SD cards, lens caps, or cleaning cloths. On the left hand shoulder strap, there's a GoPro buckle mount that allows you to mount your GoPro onto your shoulder strap and get some shoulder mounted GoPro footage. This is something that I'm a huge fan of. It's a low profile way to carry your GoPro camera around with you. It gives you something much like a chest mounted shot without the hassle of having to take a chest mount. But if you're a real fan of the chest mount, the Seeker doesn't let you down because it comes with an integrated GoPro chest mount that straps onto the shoulder strap of the backpack to allow you to shoot a chest mounted shot you just, get, you just strap it on after you put the backpack on and put your GoPro camera onto it. It's a really solid shot and it allows for some really great chest mounted footage. When it's not in use, there's a pocket inside the bag that allows you to keep it with you. The left hand side of the bag features two bungee clips that allow you to attach something like the GoPro three-way to the side of the bag to capture an over the shoulder shot. While GoPro is pushing the fact that the bag integrates really well with the GoPro three-way, in my testing, it also integrates well with most other GoPro poles. The over the shoulder mount is really cool, although it is prone to vibration and movement. So shooting at a higher frame rate with it and using it only in low impact situations definitely results in the best footage. That's it for unique GoPro features. Let's cover some of the other things that the bag has to offer. On the front, there's a zippered pocket that's aligned so that whatever you put in it won't get scratched. It's a small pocket, great for holding things like cell phones or a pair of sunglasses. On the very back of the bag, there's a integrated pocket that you can use to put a hydration pack in up to two liters and rooting for that hydration hose to snap to this, one of the backpack straps. Cool if you're going on day hikes. The large pocket of the bag has a maximum capacity of 16 liters and several nice features for helping you keep it organized. At the back, there's a bungee, which you can use if you've got a large laptop. It'll keep it pressed to the back of the bag and it'll stop it from bouncing around and getting scratched. On the bottom of the bag, there's four separate pockets for keeping batteries and chargers in. I used it for batteries, chargers, power banks, and some GoPro accessories. On the top, there's a large zippered pocket where the integrated GoPro chest mount is stored, but if you remove it, you can use it for whatever you want. And below that, there's a tablet pocket, which is nice in line to make sure that there's no scratches on your tablet. There's two water bottle holders on the side of the bag, and the back features some honeycomb foam padding to maximize comfort and airflow. Okay, so that was a nice feature list and some glam footage of the bag, but let's be honest, you could learn just about everything I told you by going to the GoPro website. What you're really curious about is how this bag compares to its competition and if it's really worth the $169 price tag. I will say that it's the best GoPro oriented backpack I've used yet. It has the right number of features and storage places for GoPro cameras, but doesn't compromise on being a nice lightweight backpack that you want to take with you for day hikes and adventures. It's a backpack that I would be happy to take with me if I was going hiking or biking for a long period of time or four or five hours. I wouldn't be concerned about how heavy the bag was when it was empty. Something that I could not say about something like the Small Tree GoPro backpack I reviewed a little while ago. That was a great bag for storing GoPro stuff and a couple of electronic devices, but it's not something that I'm gonna to wanna to be going out on a four or five hour hike with. The GoPro Seeker is not that. This is a great bag for a day long adventure. It's got the right number of places to store GoPro stuff, as well as the ability to put lunch and a jacket in it. It's not a very large bag. It does not hold a huge amount of stuff. It's a small, lightweight backpack that's perfect for day excursions. Because it's lightweight, form-fitting, and not too bulky, it's a really great bag for hiking, biking, or skiing. It is the bag that I've grabbed whenever I've been going out for activities recently. If I'm going hiking, I'm gonna take this with me because it's a great size, it's easy to carry, it's light, and it fits really, really well. Is it worth the $169 price tag? Well, I don't know. It's an expensive bag, yes. It's more expensive than the other GoPro-oriented bags that are out there, yes. It's a good bag, and it's up to you whether or not it's worth the price tag. It is expensive, but it's also really, really good. 
I was really impressed with it. I love it, and I've been using it a lot. It's a nice GoPro-oriented bag that doesn't forget that it's a backpack. If you've enjoyed this video, get subscribed, check out my channel for lots more videos, and leave a comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are about the GoPro Seeker bag. I'd love to know what you guys think. Is it too small? Is it too big? Is it too, does it have enough GoPro features? Does it not store enough GoPro cameras? What do you think? I'll leave it down below. But most of all, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.